Hello my lovelies! Welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, last week we did this lovely painting of the sun and the moon. And I saw some of your work and it was delightful to see. Well done to those of you who completed the project and did it very well. This week, boys and girls, we are going to do something that is delicious. Yes, boys and girls, we are going to draw a rainbow cupcake. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is get ourselves our pencil. And we're going to draw something looking like uh, the, the, the container that we put the cupcake in. So it's going to be something like that, rounded edge like that. Then we're going to do some zigzags like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And in between, where the, you get the point, you're going to draw a line. So we're going to put one that's going down, one that's going up, one that's going down, so that we can have the shape. It's like an accordion shape going all around the cupcake. Like that. Then, after that, boys and girls, we're going to put a lovely um, shape to indicate that it's a cake, a lovely brown cake. And then on top of the cake, we're going to have a lovely topping. And the topping is going to go like this. It's going to go, it's going to be layers. So we're going to have wobbly, wobbly lines because it's a lovely um, icing that we're going to be putting on top like that. So it's going to go like that. It's going to have a line going like that. That's the first layer of icing. And we can even have some of the icing coming out of the edges and maybe even dropping down because it's so delicious. Then you're going to have the second layer. So it's going to be going up like this, up like this. You can draw like a guideline to help you as you're going along. Actually, I want to bring this out a little bit more like this so that it will be a little bit more even. So let me just do that and erase the excess other lines. And it's okay about the smudging. It will come out when we uh, eventually uh, add the paint. Okay. So we have our lovely um, icing, the first layer. We're going to have six layers because it's going to do have the, the rainbow icing. So it's going to be all the colors of the rainbow. So the next one, boys and girls, goes like this. It goes like that. We're going to go up this way. And then going to have another one coming around like that and then we're going to have another one it's going to be small but then it, it sometimes icings can be so uneven all right and then we have another one going this way and this one oh, coming down like that i'm going to see if i can manage to finish this drawing with this broken lead one two three four so we're missing two more layers. So we're going to have another layer coming like this. It's establishing itself. And then the last layer, boys and girls, we're going to have it going like this. And it's going to make this lovely kind of a swirly shape like that. And we're going to put a lovely cherry on the top. So our cherry is going to be right here on the side like that. A lovely round cherry. This cherry isn't too flattened, so I'm going to make it a bit more rounder. 
let's just erase even erase the excess the places that we don't want like that let's draw it over again And then, boys and girls, we can just maybe draw something to indicate the stalk of the cherry, which goes down like that. That's fine. Now, boys and girls, I want us to draw a cat. You know, we want to add a character to this and make it look like, you know, a. a, a it's come alive so I'm going to draw these big wide eyes like this one and two and it's looking up towards that beautiful cherry that's right there on the top and then we're going to draw another line like this and Three more circles like that to add cuteness to it and uh, we're going to add blushy right going up just beneath the eyes we're gonna give it a little bit of lashes like that to show cuteness and we're going to give it a small little uh, smile like that There we have it, boys and girls. So we are ready now to paint our rainbow cupcake. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we're going to paint the this area here, which is going to be brown. And we have to decide what color cup, what is usually the color of this, the, the, the actual cup. Uh, before we continue, let me just erase the lines that are in the eyes so that we will not get mixed up and then we just paint it all in um, one colour because this is going to be a lovely white, the whites of the eyes, so we want it to stay lovely and white. Okay, just do that. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over it in a marker just to emphasize the eyes. This is a permanent marker so I'm hoping it's not going to disappoint me and it will not bleed. So everything else I will leave. Just I just wanted to emphasize the smile. All right, everything else I'm going to leave. So boys and girls, this, as I said, I'm going to get my trusty paintbrush and I'm going to paint the first layer in red. Okay, so I'm going to get my red, my red, and I'm going to paint this area all in red because that's the first color that we have it's a primary color and it's the first color in our color wheel or in our spectrum Roy G Biff so a Roy G Biff actually um, is the first letter for each of the colors in the color wheel so it's red R for red O for orange, Y for yellow, G is G for green, B is for B is um, blue. I'm just going to add some emphasis on some areas. So I want some areas to be dark and some areas to be light. So we're just going to do that. All right, boys and girls, just to give it dimension and, and character. Not for anything else. We just want it to have a little bit of depth. So we were saying G is green, B is blue, and 
I, Biv, B I, I is indigo and she is violet. But we're just going, we're not doing indigo, we'll just, uh, from blue we'll go straight to purple, so it's six colours. So there we've done our first um, colour in the spectrum, which is red. So we're going to go wash our paintbrush, get our rag, dry it up, and the next colour in the colour spectrum is orange, which we have already mixed. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint this in orange. Now it's okay if your colours bleed. It's absolutely fine. You don't have to fear that. You don't have to get worried or, oh no, I've ruined my... No, 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 that's okay these things happen and it adds you know it adds your own signature to it you know your own design you know you won't what what if how yours turn up will not be um the same as your your friends from your class you know so it's it's okay to, to for yours to be different it's okay for yours to have the colours bleeding in one another. I think it adds character and interest personally. Alright, so we're done with the orange. What comes next after the orange, boys and girls? Can anybody remember? That's right. We have the colour yellow. Nice bright colour, so you have to make sure that that paintbrush is nice and clean. And then we're going to add the yellow. Here we have yellow, nice and bright. Look at the sunny yellow that is. I just love yellow. Yellow just, it just brightens my day, you know. How many of you all like yellow? It's a beautiful sunny colour. I'm sh it's very therapeutic. It makes you happy. I'm telling you. It's a happy colour. So we have yellow added to our... Uh, line of colour. Wash your paint, but well, I don't have to wash it because I'm going into green. So we're going to have a lovely green next, which it, we're going to dip in and get this green. Ah, it's a little bit too limey, so I'm going to add the drop, just a little drop, because I don't want the blue to be. It's such an overpowering colour, this blue. And uh, let me just wet my paintbrush. Let me just take that out. Wet my paintbrush. And then I'm just going to come. I'm hoping that this will, it will be green enough. See? So, it's a bit deep. What do you think, boys and girls? Add a bit more colour. Add a bit more white. Or should we leave it? I think it's okay. Let's leave it. Um, let's make it like a minty green. I wouldn't mind it. Let me add some water. Like that. And then let's see if it will make it a little bit more minty. I think so. I think it's, I think it's a lovely mint green now. What do you think, boys and girls? Yeah. Wonderful. I said it's okay if your colours bleed. You don't have to worry, boys and girls. Just be happy and be happy with yourself and happy with your painting. You know, um, it's with practice you get better, boys and girls. And so just, just, you know, take it easy and enjoy as you're going along. That's the main thing you have to do. Enjoy the process. So we have red, orange, yellow, green. Then we're going to have next is our lovely blue. So we want it like an ice blue, hopefully. Oh, but we don't have met much blue in there. Let's just add a little touch of that blue right there. And I want to add a little blue to this as well. Good. 
So we're going to wet our brush. Come here, and icy blue. And let's see how icy it is, like a mint. Not a mint, but a icy, icy color. Yeah, that will do me fine, boys and girls. So we have our blue, like that, and then. On the top of it, we're going to have a lovely purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not even going to wash my paintbrush. I'm just going to use what's there already. And I'm going to make this a lovely purple. Let's see. Oh, yes. This is very nice. It's a very nice purple. I like this purple. It's a lovely purple. Like that boys and girls and then wash your paintbrush and we're going to add just a minute sorry just fix that up a little bit and we're going to add um, make this like a reddish pinkish cherry on the top so I'm going to add my red like that and we're going to add wait for it to dry and add another layer on top of it don't forget we've got to do the the um we've got to do the the cake which is this color here it's going to be a brown color and the cup that um this is the cup that we use it's usually made out of a type of paper so i'm gonna Wait for this to dry and then give it another layer and then I'll see you in a minute. So boys and girls, this is um, the topping of our rainbow cupcake and I gave it a few layers of paint so that it becomes very um, bright and uh, pleasing to the eyes. So what we're going to do next now boys and girls is we're going to mix colors to get the color brown so how do we get brown boys and girls do you remember so we use orange so we've got some orange here so we're going to take some of this orange that we've mixed and we're going to add um so we're going to have some orange we're going to we're going to put it in this here Let me just add some water. So here we have our orange mixture. Lovely orange here. So we're just taking it from our palette and we're going to add blue to this mixture. Now I want to have enough so that I can um, add that uh, for the cup as well. So uh, the cake is going to be a little bit darker than the cup. So we're going to do the cake first and then the cup. We'll just add white to the mixture and or yellow or both. So we wash our paintbrush like that and we're going to take some blue. So we've got some blue in this um, mixture here. So take some blue like that. Uh, let's see what whether that will be dark enough so mixing it around mixing it around nicely and I think this is a nice brown you know uh, shall we add more blue to it to make it a little more darker yeah no I think that that's that's a good color that's a good color so I'm going to use this color now to add to my cake which is right here yeah it's a little watery but that's fine so we're just going to add it to our cake like that good so we're going to add some more what you'll do we'll let it dry and then we'll give it several layers because 
If you look, that, that colour is quite a nice brown. So we'll just give it one layer, maybe. Wait for it to dry. Not maybe, but we are going to do that. And then afterwards we're going to add another layer to it. Another layer of brown and another one. Maybe three layers, I think, should be enough. Should be enough to make it a nice chocolate brown cake. All right. We're just going to do that like that. And we're going to put this one a little bit coming out of it like that. So let me just, just want to add a little bit more there. Like to make it a little bit deeper. And a little bit more here and a little bit more there. Like that. That should be fine. And then, um, yeah, I think that will be it. But we're going to let it dry. Then we'll come back. Just a couple of layers and then we'll come back. So boys and girls, here you have uh, two layers of brown. And um, we're going to use the remain. We don't have much, much left of the brown. But I think that will be enough if we wet our brush. And we're going to use that the rest of this brown to paint the the cup part of the cupcake so we're going to use it it's very very light a very light brown that's fine because that's going to be the base color of our cupcake and then we're going to add um, some yellow to the brown and white so we're gonna add some yellow now add some yellow like that and a little bit of white we've got some white on the other side there add some water which my paint brush a little bit we're gonna add add a little bit of water to it like that and that's I'm going to still add some white. I'm going to take some white just above here. About that much. And I'm going to put it in here. That will be enough for my for my um for the cup. For the cup the cup part of the cupcake. So while it's wet, we're just gonna Add the part for the cupcake, the cup part of the cupcake, and um, we can't forget the blush here. This is essential to for our character. So we're going to add the blushing when the paint has dried. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Let's just wait for the paint to dry. So boys and girls, I went ahead and used some of the orange to emphasize the creases in the cupcake, in the cup of the cupcake. So um, I'm just gonna uh, add another layer of that, uh, but I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to this mixture. It'll probably turn to green, you know. Yeah, it'll turn to green. So I'm going to go ahead and add some orange to that, you know, so that it will become a brown color. So I'm going to go ahead and get some orange from my palette here. And I'm going to mix it in so that it will be a nice brown color. So I'm going to put that brown colour in on top of the orange um, so that it shows that the cupcake is, the, the, the cake is showing through. So you're going to, I'm going to layer it, layer it until, so that's what we're going to do here. Just layer the orange a little, the, the lines going down just to emphasize the crease in 
the cup, the container, what that contains the cake. All right, the casing. All right, so we're going to have that like that. And boys and girls, we're going to let it dry again. And then we're going to do the blushy and the eyes. So boys and girls, the this is the um, cup cake, uh, the the part the cup part of the cupcake nicely dried out. And then we um, going to I'm going to add uh, a green to the eyes, and um, add some green to the eye. So we'll have um, a nice light green, perhaps, and then we'll have a darker green. So let's just take this green that's here, and take this green here to the eye, and we're going to paint this part of the eye, and then we're going to do another green. Maybe we'll add some blue or something, or yellow. Um, I think we'll add some yellow to it. Now, let's add a, a bit of yellow to this colour. So we're going to take some, let me just add some more water. Take some yellow, bring in some water. And then just add that to the mixture and see what what we'll get. And maybe a brighter green here. So I'm just gonna add that in, avoiding the circles like that. It looks very much the same colour, doesn't it, boys and girls? Well, hopefully we'll be able to see a difference in any case. If not, I can just add the top green, maybe a a little bit more darker just by adding some blue. Yes, I'm going to add some blue right here. I'm going to add some. It's a bit too light. I think it's still too light. So let me just add a bit more blue. going to use that color just to go on top of the already painted top part of the green so that it may for it to appear a little darker we can do the same thing on this eye just to have it a little bit darker you know sometimes you know you can just go ahead and just add blue to it you know just add a little bit of blue like that to the tips and then you just paint blue on top of it and then it mixes itself up quite independently without having to mix it physically it mixes right there on the paper <laughs> so it saves time a little bit all right so here we have our oh we can't forget the blushy so we're going to add white to our red, so we need a little bit of red, just a little bit. Add some water, and then we're going to add some blushy right there, like that. Okay, and here, yeah, and we can make, I don't know, I think we'll just leave it like that. Maybe you can have a purple for the tongue, maybe. So there's this purple inside there. And uh, the last thing we need to do is add a shadow for our cupcake. And 
we will add some highlights, some white highlights to the painting just to let it pop. So I'm going to um, get some black. And I'm going to pour a little bit of black on the edge of the palette because we don't want it to go mixing with any of the other colors. And so I'm going to add some white, some blue with the black. So we're just going to get some blue here and we're going to mix it with this to get a nice slate gray. All right, so we're going to use that to add shadow to our drawing. Just like that. Not hard at all. All right, not hard at all. And then we're going to add some water and we're going to blend it out like that. Add some water and just blend it out like that. See? So it looks, makes it better. Okay? And then after we've done that, we're going to add the um, highlights using white paint. And I'm going to change my brush to a smaller pink brush and I'm going to add some highlights just by adding some white to the eyes or well, let's just do it here one two three and again here one two three and we have some white highlights here and then to the icing and then I'll see you in a minute there it is boys and girls there you have your rainbow cupcake and I um, underline some of the parts of this um, cupcake and I left the other just the pencil um, coming through the paints and uh, I added the highlights and the icing or the frosting the the, the rainbow icing and uh, a bit of highlights in the eyes and I also uh, emphasize the eyes a little bit by going over it in black and there you are boys and girls I can't wait to see your rainbow cupcake and uh I hope to see yours in the next video. God bless. Bye.